Hello. Okay. Alien Romulus, one of my anticipated movies of the year. I'm a massive fan of the Alien movies and I've got a lot of enthusiasm and optimism and just excitement for this film. And a lot of it has been fueled not just by the interviews from the director himself, Fede Alvarez, where he's gone into sort of his love for practical effects, which gets me really excited, but it's also been fueled by this beautiful teaser trailer that was dropped last week. And so I really kind of just wanted to share that enthusiasm and excitement that I have for this film with you guys by going through this teaser trailer and just sort of share with you what it is that's within this teaser trailer that just gets me so excited for Alien Romulus. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so let's go. So this, fir this very first shot instantly sort of takes me back. Well, there's a couple of shots within this teaser that take me back to the game Alien Isolation. But this very first shot is the moment where I'm like, I'm sort of thinking of the space station Sevastopol within Alien Isolation. A game that I absolutely adored. I loved the story. And I just love that we get to follow Amanda Ripley, the daughter of Ellen Ripley, um, through that game. So yeah. But again, great shot. I think I've read somewhere that the ship going towards the space station is a model. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm liking the look already. And then we got these lovely shots, these kind of classic shots of the camera just sort of panning through the hallways, which again is very, you know, reminiscent of the original Alien movie directed by Ridley Scott. And just by looking at the set design, I mean, they've done a fantastic job at really capturing that gritty, grounded, earthly, earthy sort of tone of those original movies here. And instantly, you know, these f first couple of seconds within this te teaser trailer just gets me so freaking excited because it feels like an alien movie. And you've got that classic alien 79 teaser trailer sound on the background. Now what I like about this moment is you you've got sort of people screeching and screaming and yelling on top of this scene on top of this moment where the camera pans over to the cryotubes now from what i'm re from what i've read um that is sort of taken from another scene the noises of people screaming and yelling is not actually part of this moment but what i like about this uh, what i like about what they've done within this moment in the teaser trailer is again take me back to that original alien movie where you've got Lambert where you don't see Lambert get killed by the alien it happens off screen but you hear her screeching and so you, you can hear something that, you know that the alien is doing something to her through the tannoy system and that scene in the original alien movie always disturbed me and so this particular moment here I feel really just takes me back to that moment where Lambert is killed off screen in that original alien film and so I like that even though even though the audio in this moment is from another scene I feel like for the purpose of the teaser, I think that's what they were trying to do. It's just really sort of take you back to that original alien, maybe. Well, that's what it did for me, anyway, so. Run. Love it. Um, you got our face uggers there. And again, I feel like we've never seen the face uggers this kind of intense, you know, when it, when it comes to sort of going after their host. But it, for me, it also highlights sort of like the sole purpose of the face hugger, which is to impregnate the host. I mean, it's his only purpose. And I feel like this one particular quick, you know, couple of seconds, all these face uggers chasing after these people sort of really highlights that and sort of, in a way, elevates the horror maybe. But yeah, great shot. I like it. This shot you, this shot by you, um, it's one of my favourite shots within the trailer. I just love the lighting and the mood that's created in like literally a second. Um, and I'm just, again, it's one of those many shots within this trailer that just gets me really excited about this film. Because it's, it's capturing that essence and the atmosphere and the tone and the grittiness of that original 1979 movie. 
And then you've got another shot here where you've got one of our characters. It looks like a chase scene, um, which kind of takes me back to Alien 3 a little bit. I, I mean, uh, just a side note here. I absolutely... I'm a big fan of Alien 3. Um, that's a story for another time, but yes, I'm a big fan of Alien 3. But you've got a shot here with the characters. So they, they're running away from something and they throw a flare. And again, it instantly takes me back to the game Alien Isolation. I believe this character by you is the android, I think. Which, if I read or if I viewed correctly, it's the same model um, as the android that's played by Ian Holm in the original movie. I think. I could be wrong. But again, great shot of the android there with the light in and the, just the set. The, the fact that the sets look, you know, they are real. You've got actual living people within these sets. Again, just add into the horror and the realism and the groundedness. And now, <laughs> this shot by here is like, again, really sort of going back. It's sort of really tapping in to that kind of, the, sort of the sexual nature, really, when it comes to the design of that original alien by H.R. Giga. And um, there's like this one moment by you where you can see the sort of the, uh, the tube that it injects down the neck of its host. And it has that kind of like, yeah, it, there is a name for it and I can't think of it from the top of my head right now. But it's that kind of like when you mix horror and sort of sexual themes together that gives you this sort of kind of unsettling feeling. I'm sure I've described that as best as I could. But yeah, really kind of tapping into that sort of the original really kind of aesthetic and design of the alien even in this one very kind of disturbing unsettling shot which I really like. This again is a moment, it's a shot that really sort of takes me back to that original Alien movie. And that's where you've got Lambert and the alien and sort of the camera sort of goes so you don't see her death. But this is a very kind of very similar shot to how we see Lambert before the alien kills her in that original movie. I really love this shot by her as well with the face again and how the camera is used within that shot and sort of how it's kind of... It follows the face I get and then it sort of hits the um, the character and just, yeah, I just like how that shot plays out. And here we've got the one shot that kind of really just made me smile and I sort of, it, it does, it brings me joy. And this could have gone either way, this shot. Let's just play it out a little bit more, you. Okay. And it's a member berry. I mean, the shot, the way the shot is sort of filmed and you've got the character coming out from what appears to be a lift and you've got all the smoke and so that you've got the classic, what looks like to be sort of an early design of the pulse rifle there. And it's very classic alien or aliens more specifically. Um, and it, it could very just well be sort of like one of those shots where they're trying to replicate a moment from an original, you know, from a, one of the original movies where it sort of just really gives us those nostalgic vibes. And it depending on how it sort of fits into the context of this moment, you know, it, it could really work. Like, I'm not really a fan of when people or directors, filmmakers sort of use iconic lines from previous movies because it just, it feels out of place. It sort of throws me out of the movie. But just from watching these brief film moments within this teaser... I just like the way it comes across. I like the way it looks. Yes, it's replicating. It's very reminiscent of a scene or moments that we've seen before from the original movies. But it's something about this actress's performance. I believe she's playing a character named Rain. And it's just something about her performance within this moment that just seems original, unique, different. It's not like she's trying to rip off Ailey, uh, Ellen Ripley. But again, this is just a teaser. This is just a couple of seconds. And I'm just going based on what it is that I've seen in this teaser. And it can go either way when once we see it in the film as a whole. But just from this few couple of seconds, I like it. And that's it. I mean, we got a quick shot there. We got the quick shot of the Xenomorph. Uh, sort of with its inner tongue coming towards the camera there. And yeah. That's our teaser trailer for Alien Romulus. A quick shot there at the end with the Xenomorph. It's a 
very own you know so it's the only glimpse we get of the xenomorph and i'm happy i'm glad that you know this teaser doesn't show too much it does exactly what a teaser should do and that is tease and give us a glimpse into sort of the vibe and the atmosphere and tone of what this film is going to be i feel like the trailer definitely reinforces that this is going to be a return to horror which gets me again really really excited and what I like about the set of the glimpse that we get of the Xenomorph, as well as in the, the poster, which I really, really like, it looks like they're really sort of going back to that sort of original design of the alien from the 1979 movie. Now, as we've gotten each sequel, I, you know, the, the design of the Xenomorph has evolved, it's changed. It's always retained, it's sort of, you know, the same kind of basic design, but it's evolved and changed along with the stories. And I've kind of missed that very original sort of design of the alien that we got in the 1979 movie. And I feel like just from the glimpses that we get here, and with sort of the poster, it really sort of looks like they're going back to that original look. And so, yeah, that really gets me excited as well. Another one of those things that I've kind of missed when it comes to the alien itself is how it moves. Like, as as we've gotten each sequel, sort of how the alien moves have sort of changed or evolved. And, you know, a lot of the times I've liked that due to sort of how or why it sort of changed in his appearance or movement. For example, Alien Free with the dog. I mean, that makes perfect sense. But I've sort of one one of the things that kind of really made the alien scary in the 1979 movie, among many other aspects, and the, you know, one of those being not you know really being able to see it fully. You know, it's always sort of covered in darkness. But that is also the way it moves. There was something very sort of the way it moves was almost kind of it was elegant and sort of in a way sensual even in how the alien would move in that original movie and that was something that always kind of heightened the horror for me and so i'm wondering you know it, it kind of moved more like a human you could say than a sort of like a, an animal or a creature like it did in sort of late dumb films but yeah enough rambling on from me a great teaser trailer that I just think, you know, like I said, it's fueled my optimism and enthusiasm and excitement for this movie. I'm a massive fan of the Alien franchise. And I just really, I've been wanting something that will take us back to the same tone and atmosphere. And that, just a grittiness and, you know, all those original movies. And this definitely looks like it's reinforcing that kind of idea or sort of promising us... This is going to be a return to the horror that we remember from that original movie. I just love the lighting. I love the way the camera moves through the sets. And it's quite funny because I'm sort of talking about sort of all these different aspects about this film. Then it's, it's, I'm taking this literally from a teaser trailer where we've just gotten a few sort of second glimpses and shots of certain moments. And, you know, you never know what the film is going to be like. But at the moment, from what I'm seeing and from what I'm hearing with Fide Alvarez when it comes to the interviews, it's just sounding really positive. Like, for example, you know, practical effects, the fact he's utilising so much practical effects and sort of green screen is non-existent. All of that gets me really freaking excited. So, yeah, they are my thoughts on the Alien Romulus teaser trailer. What did you guys think of it? Did you, did you love it? Did you hate it? Um, is there anything that you've agreed or disagreed with? Anything that I've said? What's, what's your favourite moment within the teaser trailer? What's your favourite shot within the teaser trailer? And what are you hoping for when it comes to Alien Romulus? Is there anything that you would like to see specifically as a fan? And so, yeah, I do have a movie review coming for Immaculate. That should be up late tomorrow evening. And so, yeah, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll be catching you guys soon.